This is a multi-species, multi-functional research facility. Uh, makes us a little bit unique. There are a lot of research facilities, but I don't know that there are any that are quite as diverse as this one. The unique facility that Skip Hampton supervises is a fully functioning research farm known as Green Acres. Novus International needed a controlled and efficient way to test its line of feed additives. Green Acres is all that and more. As we began to grow the product line at Novus and uh, new product development, uh, there became a, a, a serious need to expand our capabilities and do it quickly, which prompted us to begin to look into establishing a, a farm of our own. We've increased our efficiency considerably as well as, as our capabilities out here. We're trying to improve basically the overall uh, efficiency of the animal, whether it's utilizing the, the feed that's in the animal, optimizing gut health in the animal, and the, the health and well-being and the growth status of that animal, trying to make those animals more efficient. It's a collaborative effort across Novus to determine what type of research is going to go on here and company priorities. Green Acres is a 95-acre working farm in the middle of Missouri. Every acre serves a very specific function. By design, the farm hires local animal scientists and husbandry experts to do the work and utilizes local resources for construction and supplies. Research is currently being conducted on three species, cattle, poultry, and swine. Feed additives for cattle are tested both at the indoor facility and in 30 segmented one-acre pastures. There aren't too many facilities like this in the U.S. We can do rotational grazing trials, we can do uh, continuous grazing trials out there. Right now we have a, a study going on that is a rotational grazing trial and we're currently utilizing Holstein steers for that. Swine research is also carefully controlled at an indoor facility. Yeah, all the swine that we have here are obviously they're all housed indoors. We can start out with as many as four animals in a pen. Uh, we've had some really good work come out of our, our cannulated pig area, working on some of our enzyme products. We've had some really good supportive data coming out of there for product launch. And again, that's what we're all about here is generating information that our sales and technical folks can use out in the field as well as we make decisions on uh, product development and new products. Other on-site facilities include a self-sufficient feed mill where test diets are prepared. Our goal is to try to make sure we have everything controlled that we can control in that feed. So we have the capability of making two tons of feed in a mixer, but we can also go down to as small as uh, 400 pounds in the same mixer and still get a, a very good uniform mix on that feed. We can pellet feed all day long or we can pellet a small batch of 300 pounds to go through our, our pellet mill as well. The research at Green Acres has a very specific purpose, to support and influence the products Novus International is marketing, and more specifically, to help customers find a better way to run their operations. You know, the perfect animal, you could feed them uh, a pound of feed and put on a pound of gain, but that's not going to happen. So what we're trying to do is work on that ratio of how much feed goes into that animal to put on that pound of gain. We need to get that product so everybody's benefiting from that, not only Novus by selling the product to the farmer by using it and the end consumer because they can benefit from that as well. A great depth of scientific knowledge and research are used to create the trial diets which may appear only as feeding and weighing. However, that's only a check of how Novus's products are increasing productivity. Well, when we get a group of cattle, we'll get a weight on those animals right away. We'll get those sorted out into the pen, get them ear tagged and processed. If we're going to run a pasture trial, we're going to be weighing those animals about every 21 days. What people see out here is the, is the cow with the window. We actually have some of those on study right now on a grazing trial and we'll be looking at different substrates going through those animals and get a lot of really good information out of those animals as well. Poultry broiler research starts almost from birth. We'll get those chicks in when they're a day old. We're going to do what's called feather sexing those birds. We're going to use all males on our trials, so we're looking to make sure we're getting the males in there. We're again working on that feed to gain ratio. The biggest thing we're going to look at is getting that bird to market size in the shortest amount of time, putting the most growth on that animal as we can in that period of time, and how to best utilize the feed that we have available. 
Like every operation at Novus International, Green Acres operates with sustainability in mind. From the 168 panel solar collector, to the facilities that capture and reuse rainwater, to the complete recycling of waste and byproducts, Novus takes sustainability to heart at Green Acres. Green Acres is a small research farm located in Missouri. But make no mistake, the studies being done here have a decidedly global impact. Again, when you think about the global reach that we have out here, and kind of leaves you in awe sometimes when you think about the things that we go on and, and how far-reaching this information can be. It is a good feeling to see the things that we do and how we can impact what Novus is doing in the product sales and information that goes out and how we are involved with that. It's exciting research. It's always fun to see new products come to market.